Hi, I'm Mike Stan. It's October 16th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm joined by Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. Um, Dan, let's start with you. Another big week on the Muni calendar. Um, as you mentioned, uh, a lot has changed since the last presidential election in 2016, but some of the trends we're seeing in the marketplace are similar. What uh, What can you tell us about? Yeah, you know, every, everyone tries to, um, I think, uh, anticipate how this election cycle is going to fare. And we've seen clearly seen a very strong calendar through the course of this year. Um, and that's accelerated as we come into the election uh, period here as issuers um, certainly uh, seem to want to get into the market before the election and the, the prospect or, or potential of, uh, of volatility post-election. Um, very similar to what we had seen back in 2016. Um, so we've seen a uh, very large calendar this week. Next week's calendar is approaching 17 billion. Um, and while we've talked a lot this year about the percentage of taxable issuance, and it certainly made up a good a good portion, close to 30%, um, and that's still the case. Um, even when you take out that 30% taxable anticipated next week, um, you're still seeing a very, very large um, calendar and issuance. And then from that uh, large calendar for next week, a lot of the transactions, uh, certainly at the large end of the uh, volume scale, are from nonprofit healthcare institutions. So they're selling tax exempt, but they're not necessarily uh, municipal issues. Yeah, that's correct. Um, we're seeing um, a few billion dollar plus deals out of the healthcare sector, um, along with some uh, other non uh, healthcare related um, issuance. Alabama Public Schools coming with a billion two, LACCD with a billion five. Um, California, uh, California is issuing a $2.4 billion deal, um, but a couple uh, very large uh, healthcare deals as well from Common Spirit and Sutter Health. And so, Brian, let's transition to you and talk about uh, what we saw last week and what we saw this coming week. Um, Lipper reported uh, another week of inflows, but relatively modest, $615 million, certainly not a lot compared to the overall calendar. What are you seeing from underwriters and, and issuers as they're, as they're working to price their uh, transactions into the market? Yeah, as you guys have already talked about, uh, you know, we're definitely in, uh, in this pre-election push. Uh, you know, that feels like it's in full swing. And, and again, with this week being a holiday shortened week to have over $14 billion priced, uh, you know, you're definitely seeing underwriters, uh, you know, kind of getting creative uh, and trying to figure out ways to, to kind of push this much volume through the market. Um, so, you know, I would say, uh, you know, overall, the market felt pretty constructive, um, you know, everything got done. Uh, there were a few casualties, uh, you know, just uh, off the top of my head, I think uh, Denver Airport ended up scrapping their subordinate lien uh, transaction, but we're still able to push through uh, and price a, a decent amount of senior lien bonds. Um, but overall, you know, it's really just a matter of, uh, of finding uh, finding the right buyers and finding the levels that that clear the market. Um, I would say for you know for BAM's activity this week, uh, a, a word that would describe the deals that we ended up being on as a, a very collaborative week for us, uh, both with our member issuers as well as the underwriting community. Um, we saw utilization, uh, partial utilization on some of the larger transactions. So some of the bigger deals that we insured this week uh, were were like. Uh, doing 60 million uh, out of over 300 million of South Jersey Transportation Authority, which was priced by city. Uh, they used insurance uh, across the board on both the uh, senior lien as well as subordinate and both tax exempts and taxables. Uh, so helping diversify the buyer interest uh, to get that deal done, uh, insurance was helpful. Another good example was a $245 million deal for Michigan Finance, Finance Authority uh, for Charter County of Wayne, uh, which was a sales tax uh, bond that uh, Goldman Sachs priced. Double uh, A3 underlying rating initially, you know, no talk of insurance utilization. And then there was a reverse inquiry for uh, for bonds on the long end with insurance. Uh, so we ended up getting used on 50 million uh, on that deal and that priced at 12 through uh, the uninsured bonds. Um, you know, away from that, uh, we were also on 38 million Cherokee Metro District in Colorado. Uh, so those were, you know, some of the larger transactions that we were on. But uh, across the board, you know, pretty diverse week for us. We were on over 400 million in bonds um, and, uh, and, you know, pretty active across a lot of different states and sectors. 
And you highlight an interesting trend. BAM CEO was uh, Sean McCarthy was quoted in the bond buyer this week talking about through the first three quarters, BAM has insured over two billion dollars of bonds with underlying ratings in the double A category. Um, we think a lot of that is driven by institutional investors who are using insurance as part of their portfolio management and hedging strategies. Um, so that's a, an interesting trend that's, uh, that seems to be continuing since uh, the pandemic began. Um, what do we see uh, looking ahead to this week? Yeah, next week, uh, as Dan mentioned, and, and uh, as you said, it's going to be a busy one. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see, you know, what it takes to clear some of these things. You guys mentioned uh, the the healthcare activity and some of the larger names. Uh, there's also over three billion of state GO bonds that are going to be coming to market between California, Illinois, Hawaii. Um, you know, there's there's lots of uh, lots of bonds that are going to be around. Uh, the competitive market's going to be over six billion, so that'll definitely put some pressure on the uh, the, the balance sheets of, of the underwriting community. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see what it takes to get some of these deals done. Um, but BAM is expecting another really active week. We've got over four hundred million scheduled to sell, um, and uh, you know, some of those uh, to highlight would be uh, one hundred twenty-eight million for Mountain House finance authority, uh, those are utility system bonds in California that's going to be priced by Piper. Brian, those uh, Mountain House transaction is a BAM Green Star transaction. Um, will actually put us over a billion dollars of Green Star bonds sold this far, this year in 2020, which is uh, part of a, a market-wide trend of increased uh, issuance in the muni green bond space. And Mark Capel from BAM's San Francisco office recorded a Credit Insights video about that transaction that uh, people can watch on our YouTube page. Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. Yeah. No worries. Uh, outside of that, uh, 75 million for Rosemont, Illinois, is going to be priced by Mesero, uh, and then uh, 54 million uh, Mosaic District Community Development uh, in Virginia is going to be priced by Stiefel. Great. Well, thanks, guys, for uh, for uh, taking the time today. We haven't mentioned in the in the uh, update. We should mention that uh, benchmark yields were again pretty much flat this week. That's that's the backdrop for all of these, uh, despite the fact the underwriters and insurers were working hard to find demand. They were doing so without major price concessions, at least you know on the market average. Uh, so that'll be something to watch for next week to see if there's any movement there. Um, thanks again for taking the time. We'll uh, we'll talk to you next week. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.